Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this domino effect in Blender using rigid body physics easily. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado, let's begin today's video. So here you can see I'm using Blender 2.93, nice. So now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now let's start this by creating a ground plane. So go to this add mesh, select the plane. So now let's increase the scaling of this, press S on the keyboard and increase the scaling here. So now let me increase the scaling in Y axis. So again press S and Y and increase the scaling in Y axis. So this is going to be the ground plane, okay. So now let's start to create our domino. So go to this add mesh, select a cube. So now let me select this move tool and place it here. Now press S and Y to reduce the scaling in Y axis. And again press S and X to reduce the scale in X axis. So I think this much is fine or else let's increase the X axis scale. Now again press S, Z and increase the scaling in Z axis. Okay. So now we got a domino block, single domino block. Nice. So now press tab on the keyboard right click subdivide so now let me increase the subdivisions to 10 so this much is fine now again press tab to exit this edit mode now come to this modifier add modifier and add subdivision surface nice so view count i will increase this to 2 and we can apply this modifier so we got this nice edges and right click shade smooth nice so we got our domino block so now press 1 on the keyboard for front view and let me place this just above the plane. So here you can see this domain is just above the plane. So press 3. Now let me select the plane where it is. So plane is at the grid here. So now let me select the cube and place it just above to that grid. Make sure it is not passing through the plane or not touching the plane. It should be just above to this plane here like this. Okay. So now let me place this block here. Okay, I think this was fine. Now press shift plus D to duplicate it. Now press Y and move along Y axis here. Now press shift and R to repeat that. So now select this first block here. Come to this physics property, add rigid body and type let it be active and surface response i will increase the friction to 0.63 and bounciness i will increase this to let me enter the value 0.2 okay so now we need to apply this rigid body physics to rest of the blocks also so we can do that in a simple manner so first let me hide out this ground plane so hide it out so first select the active block so this is the block which we have applied rigid body physics first so select that one first now press a on the keyboard to select rest of the blocks now come to this object rigid body and select this copy from active so now each and every block has got that rigid body property nice so now let me bring back this plane here so if i play this now you can see all the blocks are falling down because we have not set the base as collider so select the base again apply rigid body but in type change it to passive okay so now if you play we can see all blocks are standing on that plane and also we need to add collision property for these blocks also so select the block add collision and apply this collision to rest of the blocks also So now let's add another object that acts as a pushing object for this domino. So here I will be using a cube. So go to this add mesh, select a cube here. So now press S on the keyboard and reduce the scaling of this cube here like this. Now let me place this here. Okay. So now B on the first frame, press I on the keyboard and add a keyframe for location. We got a location keyframe. So now move 20 frames forward in timeline and let me place the position of this cube here so that it collides with the first block and again add a keyframe for location so if i play this now 
you can say we got this colliding object but nothing is happening because we have not set this cube as a colliding object so now select the cube come to this physics property once again and add a rigid body make it as an active but make sure to enable this animated option so now if i play this you can see we got this colliding effect acting on that cube nice and if you want to hide out this block in render make sure you have selected that block come to this object properties scroll down to this visibility and from here you can uncheck this render section so that it will not visible in render so if you want to hide out in viewport you can do that so choice is yours nice let me enable this cavity and shadow okay so once you are happy with the effect so in order to render this out first we need to bake this animation or simulation so in order to bake the simulation select any of the block come to this scene properties here expand this there is this rigid body world expand this rigid body world come to this cache so from this you can select start and end frame so here i will leave to 180 frames as you know so i will enter 180 frames okay so once the frames are selected just click on this bake button so once the bake is done now we are ready to render the animation so you can add materials and render this scene out as you like okay so in this way we can create this domino effect in blender using rigid body physics easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye